Ahoy there, you space pirate patriots. Welcome to this Tuesday episode of SpaceX in the News. And we got breaking information to go over, so we're gonna jump right into it. Per our discussion on Friday's episode, SpaceX did move Starship 24 to the launch site and immediately began putting it through ambient pressure testing. Well, during that said test, a loud pop was heard a couple hours after it began, followed by some venting sound. And Starship lost a couple of her heat shield tiles because of it. However, over the Memorial Day weekend, local photographer Starship Gazer did spot the SpaceX workers making repairs to the ship, including removing a bent pipe and replacing it with an upgraded one. Ship 24 is the first Starship that had its methane header tank removed from the methane tank itself and placed in the nose cone right below the LOX header tank. So the speculation is this had something to do with that and the new plumbing that was required to make these changes. Today's road closure was canceled, but the good news is there are possible closures going on through the rest of this week. After many, many months of delays, the FAA was poised to release their final PEA, that's their environmental assessment for the Boca Chica area, today. But instead of a yay or nay on Starship's first orbital launch attempt, we got another delay. But again, the good news is it's not for another month or two, it's for a couple weeks, which kind of leads us to believe they're at least finishing it up. June 13th is the new targeted date for those results. But in the meantime, things are still as busy as ever for SpaceX down at their South Texas facilities. RGV aerial photography captured more Raptor 2 engines being delivered to the production site, as well as some armored plating that's on standby for welding to the orbital launch table's legs. You'll probably need them to withstand the heat and debris that's created from 33 Raptor engines lighting up in danger close proximity. And the new wide bay is now getting roofed. In another SpaceX news, the company reported that the first two countries in Africa, Nigeria and Mozambique, have been granted for Starlink approval. The network is now licensed on all seven continents. Elon twatting that one Starlink can provide internet for an entire school of hundreds of students. Great potential to lift people out of poverty, providing internet is teaching people to fish. And not just giving them one. Although that would be very impressive for a satellite to do, deliver fish. Although that's not a bad idea, you know, if it rained fish from satellites, at least they would come pre-cooked. Tim Dodd, the everyday astronaut, released his second part for his Elon interview there at the Starbase facilities. And he had some pretty interesting things to say about the version two satellites. Yeah, we, we need we need uh, Starship to get to orbit because it's, it's also got to, uh, it's the only thing that can carry the Starlink two satellites. Yeah. So uh, we've already produced the first, uh, and we have on site the first Starlink 2 satellite, and it's seven meters long. And uh, Falcon uh, has neither the volume nor the mass to orbit capability uh, required for Starlink 2. He goes on to say that one Starlink version 2 satellite weighs about 1.25 tons and is an order of magnitude more powerful than its predecessor. You can catch Tim's entire interview with Elon using the link below. The United States Space Systems Command has issued launch task orders for fiscal year 2022, which falls under the National Security Space Launch Phase 2 Launch Service Procurement Contract. They've ordered eight launches, three of which have gone to SpaceX. USS F-124, which will be launched on board a Falcon 9 rocket from the Eastern Range into low Earth orbit. USS F-62, which will be launched on a Falcon 9 from the Western Range into a polar orbit. And same goes for Tranche 1. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for checking in. Shout out to our locals, members, and big Falcon representatives supporting the show. You can do the same by using the link in the description below. Have a nominal work week, and until next time, Godspeed.